What's up, YouTube, and what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number five. Or should I call this the In Shambles episode number one? I don't know. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we took on Roxanne at the Rustboro Gym, and uh, we won our first gym badge. Look, look, look. We won our first gym badge, yay. <clears throat> Um, along the way, there was some tragedy, uh, a lot of tragedy. So if you want to check out that last episode and you don't want any spoilers because uh, a couple things happened, uh, you can click the I card just above the screen. It'll take you straight to that. In today's episode, we're praying to God, to Arceus, that we can uh, catch at least one Numon. I think we might have the chance to catch two or three. We'll, we'll see how far we can get today. Uh, as we continue on with our emerald story so if you're enjoying emerald so far and you want to show your support go and hit that like button down below uh, and go ahead and comment whatever the question of the day is uh, it should be right there make sure you comment that below as well it really helps out both of th both of those things liking and commenting it only takes a couple seconds and then you can sit back and just listen to this in the background if you want to it really really makes a difference for me thank you so much for everyone, for your support so far, the series is doing well as of right now, and I'm super digging it. So, here we go. Team recap. Again, if you don't want spoilers on the last episode, make sure you go check that out. Here goes our team recap. First up, we have Oscar, our fire-type septile, with shell armor, naughty nature, holding the quick claw because he's kind of slow, terrible special defense, which is bad for, our, bad for us, uh, but you can see the rest of him. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. He does have Flame Wheel and Sacred Fire, which he's not the only thing with Sacred Fire in this game. Also, Mudshot and Uproar. And then uh, we're still carrying around Rhea, our normal Flying Stantler, Blaze, Timid Nature, <laughs> and there's that. Now, um, Rhea is not off the team by any means, but for today's episode, probably won't be used unless we need to, uh, uh, unless we need to, you know, like... Uh, unless we need to fight with her to catch something. So here's what I'm gonna do. I need to sell stuff I'm gonna sell mud slap. I'm gonna sell bone club I'm going to sell uh, You only give me a hundred and a hundred and a... So it's not worth that, but I am going to buy at least ten we go ahead and buy 12, just so we have a nice even 15. <laughs> I'm gonna buy three more super potions. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna buy three of <laughs> these. So we're out of money again. Yay, hype, fun times. <clears throat> so, again, if you're if you're this far in, I assume you've watched the last episode. Um, you know, taking on that Umbreon at the end of the episode, I was really hoping that we could have caught that. If we could have caught Umbreon, this game, it would have been totally different now. But now, you know, it's another Stantler. Like, it was just, we were going to run into that Umbreon. On the Lemonade, that's very good, actually. It's just, it's just very unfortunate that we had to, that we had to lose like that. See, I don't feel like there's any need for us to take these out. <clears throat> these guys are just level 9, and it's just going to be over-leveling. So I'm going to try and avoid these trainers. Uh, I will come back in a grinding montage and, and try to and take them all out. I think that... Ah! Turned right, right before I got to her. Yeah, it's a level 10. There's just no point in me fighting these things. So, um, Now, I didn't really think about a question of the day, so let me try and come up with a question of the day. Um... Well, I tried to. I tried to get through that. We have a Waylord. And your Waylord, it gets super effective hit. Out of there! Ugh. Man. I really wish that we could, uh... I don't know, redo some stuff. Well, that's not very effective. I, I didn't even see that. Okay, well, that was super effective. So, Oscar is like... Oscar's good to go. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and go here. King's Rock. That's 
Or flinches, I guess that's good. All right. Excuse me, just saying, I have to cough. Okay, we should be good, should be all good to go. Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Oh, Pico! Well, let's go ahead and walk up here. We do get to catch our first encounter, so. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. The Houndoom! Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let me switch into Rhea. I should have just put Rhea in front. Okay. Great. Crush Claw! I have to switch out. That's okay, that's okay. Secret Power. Part of me wants to heal back Rhea and switch. Why oh, you crit me, jerk? Okay, you missed. All right, get me out of here, get me out of here. Houndoom, listen. Listen, Houndoom. No, here, let me look at you. Houndoom, look. <clears throat> we have a problem. We are in shambles. We need you to join the team, or we have no chance of stopping Team Aqua and Team Magma. I need your help. Houndoom the team player! Houndoom the team player! That got me super hyped. <clears throat> uh, random name general. Okay. Alright. There's hope. <clears throat> Houndoom the dark Pokemon. In a Houndoom pack, the one with its horns raked sharply back serves a leadership role. They choose their leader by fighting amongst among themselves. So let's go first name only. Go feminimin. Center eight. I have no idea how you say this name. Should I read? I'm gonna redo until I know how to say the name. That'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and I feel like this fits. So we have Scylla the Houndoom. Alright, Scylla the Houndoom. So let's go ahead and take a look at. Scylla, our new our newest member to the team. We have Scylla the bug type with torrent <clears throat> docile nature, so I think that's neutral. Holding the X accuracy. Pretty good, well-rounded stats with crush claw, secret power, and uproar. Okay. It could be absolutely much worse. I'm gonna go ahead and take this X accuracy. You don't need an X accuracy. <clears throat> now here's what I'm gonna do real quick. Uh, I think I am going to go heal. I still need to come with a question of the day. So, I'm wearing a, um... I'm wearing my Symphonic Evolution shirt that I was wearing in the last episode. And uh, I'm curious, let's do this as our question of the day. What is your favorite soundtrack... Wait, I don't want to go that way. What is your favorite soundtrack from, uh, third generation? So third generation <clears throat> songs are used a lot. I was listening to them earlier, debating on doing this as our question of the day. And um, <clears throat> what I found is that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, you know, I'm playing Pokemon Reborn. That's the other series on the channel. It goes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, so I'm playing that and I noticed that it's uh, <clears throat> um, a lot of the third generation songs are used in that game. Which is pretty strange, but go ahead and run through here. Almanite. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take on this Almanite. <clears throat> I might be dead already. No. Okay. Bye. See ya. Adios. Adios. All right. I am. I'm, I'm okay to take on trainers now. <clears throat> you have an Agron. I'm switching. And you're not going to use pers <clears throat> It has arena trap. Are you kidding me? 
You have false swipe. Go for crush claw. Fleet powder. Uh, it's not so bad. That's bad. Why does everything have secret power or sacred fire? You know what? Ah, <clears throat> uh, you, you know, there comes a time in a man's life when he reaches a breaking point. A breaking I just don't even know. I just don't even know what to say at this point. <sighs> Hyper beam. Hold this mud shot. Get off my screen. <sighs> wow. 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 You can't make this up. I just caught Scylla, and Scylla got trapped by, oh my. God. <clears throat> I feel like this is a little translation error because it's kind of weird to say, but what, are you coming? Come and get me, come and get some then. Ah, kill all it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Oh wait, 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 this is a pirate. <clears throat> hey, do you want to battle? You, so you want to battle me? Oh my god. Oh my god, my voices. That's two episodes in a row that Sacred Fire has taken us out. Like, what happens if I face a, a Wonder Guard that I don't have the I don't have the proper type for. Like I just lose. You have needle arm. That's not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna speed up. <sighs> like I have to train up Rhea before the next episode. I have to. I have to accept that Rhea is gonna be on the team, and I just have to use Rhea. Er, my career in crime comes to a dead end. There we go. That was that was a tiny bit better. This is plain not right! The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. <laughs> you want it back that badly, take it! I like how I'm doing two at once. <clears throat> I'm doing two, like, quests at once. One for Pico and one for the Devin goods. My gosh! <clears throat> I really should not eat right before I record. Pico, I'm, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Ah, Sir Domino, I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can find me in my cottage by the sea. Oh my gosh. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. <laughs> hey, there's nothing to do this way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Just when I thought things were looking okay. They're absolutely not looking okay. So, uh, in a grinding montage, probably for tomorrow, uh, we'll go through all the rest of these trainers. I don't normally do that, but the fact that I don't... Oh, whoops, I forgot about this guy. <clears throat> oh, how did it go? The Devin Goods. You did. You, you got him back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As, as many thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Yeah, thanks. I could have used that against that Umbreon, actually. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our, president, our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Oh, um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, could you deliver it to the shipyard in Sightport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, hee hee hee. So, uh, could I count you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here for a second? <clears throat> I'm so frustrated, man. Crazy. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? 
I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen and Duford. Sure. <clears throat> now, you should know that I am a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask her a favor and nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. I don't want this stupid pokey nav. I want a pokey mine! That device, it's a Pokemon Navigator, a Poke Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check, look, look, but the, but the, but the, oh, he just said something important. I think it would be best if you rested up before you got on your way. Well then, Domino, go with caution and care. Man! What's the next Pokemon it's gonna, actually, hold on. The only reason I'm speeding up is because I'm pretty sure none of these people give me anything. But I have to check. Playing Pokemon Insurgents on stream has made me, has reminded me, I guess, that uh, I just have to, wait. <clears throat> I've been developing an added feature for the PokéNav, and it turned out great. Domino, may I see that PokéNav, the one our president, gave, our president gave you? There you go, Domino. I added a new feature called Match Call. Blah, 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 No. Oh, I don't want to do this. I'm so frustrated, man. Our series was going wonderfully. We had a Magikarp that was probably going to evolve into... I feel like I said... I feel like I've said Darkrai at some point. And it can't evolve into... Um... It was going to evolve into something nice. And then, our Gorobis, which I'm not too upset about, but Nevena was like, you know, it was the first Mon that we caught. And then I just caught Scylla. All three of these died to... Alright, we're just gonna call it... <clears throat> this is Sacred. Sacred F. And that could mean a whole bunch of things. It could mean press F for these Pokemon. It could mean... Uh... Oh, May, I didn't even see you. I'm so sorry. Oh, I have to battle. Oh, crap. <clears throat> oh, hi, Domino. You had a match call feature put on your PokéNav. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. I don't want your number, May. I'm mad, May. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briney in Pepperberg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Domino? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? <clears throat> you just became a trainer, Domino. I'm not gonna lose. Yeah, I believe it. Rector Jacqueline. Two Pokemon. The first is Eradicate level 14 that probably knows Sacred Fire. Why don't I go for Sacred Fire all the time? I don't know. You whip up your Whirlwind, you'll be dead. Typically Flame Wheel does the job, and Sacred Fire is always there if I need it. When I need it. Actually, I think I'm about to explode on whatever comes out next. I'm just being I'm just being frank, I'm being honest. Slacking. Level 19, hold this Sacred Fire. <coughs> Please die. 
Okay, it's burned. Fine. Okay! By the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed, Domino, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. Seafarer. I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore, man. <laughs> Is the gym in the next episode? It can't be. It can't be, because I have to go... Okay. Here's the plan for tomorrow's episode. We're gonna go ahead and save right here. Uh, not tomorrow, Monday. For So for Monday's episode, um, we are going to... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm drawing a huge blank. For, oh, for Monday's episode, uh, we're gonna travel down to Duford, and there should be four encounters that we can get there. After we get those encounters, we're gonna train them up. We're gonna come back through all of these trainers and do them in the episode. And then the following episode, we'll have a grinding montage and then we'll take on Brawly at the gym. That's our plan. So again, if you enjoyed today's episode and if you just wanna show your support and tell me that you feel bad for our freaking team, then go ahead and leave a like down below. Answer the question of the day we're talking about which what your favorite track from Pokemon is, especially if you have a favorite track from this game. Uh, if you don't, I invite you to look up Glitch X City and Mewmore on YouTube and listen to some of their remixes from some of his Hoenn stuff. They have some great music. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, we will see you on Monday for the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke, or I think as we're just going to call it, the Shambles Club. We will see you on Monday. Until then, have a blessed day.